I'm Guy, the Technical Support Manager here at Juice Bikes. Today I'm sharing everything you need to know about e-bike batteries. The battery is one of the most important parts of an electric bike because it's responsible for so much of the bike's performance, including how much power, speed, and riding distance you'll get out of the bike. Here at Juice Bikes, we've led the industry in e-bike battery performance, quality, safety, and reliability for over a decade. So we definitely know a thing or two about batteries. Before we begin, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified when we share even more helpful e-bike tips. So here's everything you need to know about batteries if you're starting to look at e-bikes. Let's start with battery size and why that's so important. One of the biggest regrets we hear from new e-bike riders is not purchasing a bike with more battery capacity. When most prospective riders start looking for an e-bike, they're not looking at battery specs and most companies aren't sharing those specs because they're pretty underwhelming. Because the battery is the heart of your bike and is responsible for really important performance features like riding range, prospective e-bike riders should buy the most battery power they can afford. Sure, you may see a bike with 45 mile range and 672 watt hour battery and think, oh, that sounds good because you're probably not riding 45 miles in one ride and you might not know what watt hours means. But think about when you drive a car, say you commute 20 miles each way. You wouldn't buy a car that can only ride 40 miles on a tank of gas. The same idea applies to electric bikes you aren't going to want to charge after every single ride. And the range quoted by e-bike brands is in optimal conditions, constant pedaling, flat terrain, and light payload. So first, how do you determine the size of an e-bike battery? Because every company lists the size differently. For example, all juice bikes come with 52 volt batteries ranging from 15 amp hours to 19.2. And that's the number we show because typically most e-bike companies don't offer the bigger 52 volt batteries to customers. So instead, other e-bike companies like to list watt hours because that number looks a lot bigger. Here's how you can do the math to determine the size of any e-bike battery. Let's take our biggest battery. First, you take the volts, so that's 52, and multiply it by the amp hours, that's 19.2 and that equals the watt hours, which is 998.4. Now, let's take a typical battery from other companies. That's the 48 volt. You multiply 48 volts times 14 amp hours, and you get 672 watt hours. As you can see, the Juice battery has a lot more watt hours than the typical competitor. These numbers directly relate to how much range and power you will get from your e-bike battery. If you're new to e-bikes, you may be wondering how long does it take to charge the battery and where should I charge it? How long the battery takes to charge fully depends on what level the battery is at and your charger. Typically, if you're using a standard two amp charger, which usually comes with most e-bikes, your charge time will likely be between six to nine hours. So say your battery is around 20% it will likely take around eight hours to charge. Now, there's some faster chargers available, so if you're using a fast charger, like our turbo charger, that charge time will be cut in half. As far as how to charge your e-bike, it varies depending on the e-bike brand, but most of the time you can charge your battery by removing it from the bike first, or you can charge while it's still on the bike. With bikes that have integrated batteries, it can be tough, maybe impossible to remove them. So you'd want to just keep it on the bike. All juice bike batteries can either be charged on or off the bike. Just make sure if you're coming back from a ride to wait about 30 minutes before charging to allow the battery to get back to room temperature. And yes, you can plug the charger into a normal wall outlet. Now, I'm going to focus on a frequently asked question that we get here at Juice Bikes, which is how long will my battery last? Just like electric cars or cell phones, an e-bike's battery will decrease in capacity every time you charge it. We classify our battery's end of life at around 60% of its capacity. 
that's when it's no longer going to provide enough power for your e-bike. E-bike batteries typically reach 60% capacity at around 500 to 800 charge cycles, depending on how you take care of the battery. The battery life also depends on how you ride. Someone who has put 3,000 miles on a battery riding, mostly using pedal assist and riding in mode two or three on our e-bikes will have a battery in a better state than someone with 3,000 miles on the battery and riding mostly in race mode and using throttle most of the time. The person using mostly race mode and throttle, which a lot of our riders like to do, would have a battery with a noticeable drop in efficiency at 3,000 miles. There are a few tips we have to help you prolong your battery life, like keeping the charge between 20 and 80% and not totally draining the battery to zero. Watch this video to learn more. Another important component of an e-bike battery is the battery management system or BMS. Most premium electric bikes, including all Juice Bikes models, feature a BMS, which helps prevent the overcharging or over-discharging of the battery cells. Cheaper off-brand replacements do not feature BMS, and without that, the battery cells can overcharge or drain unevenly, which can overheat the battery, which is a safety concern. How do you know if an e-bike comes with a BMS? Check out the detailed specs list on the e-bike before purchasing. Now it's time to do a rapid fire Q&A with some of the most common questions we're asked at Juice Bikes about our batteries. Every Juice e-bike equipped with our G2 52 volt battery adheres to UL2271 requirements for battery safety. We plan on having formal UL certification for these battery packs sometime this spring. So Juice Bike started with battery manufacturing and we started in 2009. Juice Bike's warranty on batteries is one year. Ultimately, a larger battery is more expensive, so we offer multiple sizes to be more budget friendly. Yes, you can leave the battery on, just turn the bike off. You're not going to lose a significant amount of charge. Our batteries are not waterproof. They are water resistant. One raindrop, maybe two. Definitely not three. Just kidding. Our batteries are rated at IP65, which means they can get a little wet, but keep them dry. Those were some great questions. Now you've learned the basics about e-bike batteries. If you have any other questions that weren't answered in this video, leave a comment for us below. Thanks for watching.